Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie in the last episode. Well, we uh, did some stuff in Cloud Cuckoo Land, actually. It's been a while since the last recording, like, well, a few hours, but still. I just. It's been long enough that I don't exactly quite remember. I just know that we have uh, the hardest mission of the entire game for me over with, so. Anyways, uh, we have Claw Clan Boots right here, and I did see that trail at the end of the last episode, so I want to see where that goes. So let's get our get our boots on. Make our way up there, shall we? Why I'm going up there is as Kazooie alone, I don't know, just in case uh, it has to be Kazooie alone, but I don't know for sure, honestly. So, well, we do have notes up here, that's for sure. So, whatever the case may be, coming up here wasn't in vain, if it is the case that we do need Banjo up here. Let's see. Let us see, shall we? For all we know, it's probably an egg pass here that I need to hatch or something as Kazooie. Oh, well, never mind, apparently there's already one here. Maybe I found this one earlier? Yeah, I guess I did. Shoot, okay. Alright, so I'm supposed to come here as Banjo alone? Huh. Okay, well, there's a red mumbo skull down there, so from the mum red mumbo skull we can. Yeah, okay. Interesting, okay. <clears throat> well, in that case, uh, in between episodes, I did look at some stuff that I could potentially do during this episode. And, uh, yeah, once again, thank you, for, thank you, thank God for fallproof. Uh, but at any rate, uh, we're going to switch back to Banjo alone, because, uh, well, actually, no, no, no. Let's, uh, let's not make this mistake. How about we go outside as Kazooie alone, and we find a flight pad, and we use that flight pad to find anything that we could potentially fly to. Okay, so right up here, okay, this, yeah, this, this part's completely pointless to us right now. Until Mumbo does his thing, basically. You're not, you're not gonna be able to get to that pot of gold uh, with and, and actually get inside of it until Mumbo does what he needs to do, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. Let's see, don't need those. Do not need those whatsoever. Okay, so the door I wanted to go through was the blue one, that's right, where the blue Mumbo skull is. It sh at least it should be through this, this door, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh boy. So I will warn you that um, it's been kind of rough. It was today was kind of rough day at work, so I may or may not be kind of uh, at least somewhere around tipsy by the end of this video. <laughs> so just don't just don't want to hide, hide, try to hide anything from you guys. I'm just letting you know that if I start to act a little loopy by the end of this episode, then you'll know why. because I'm having I am having a drink while I'm recording this. So if I do start to set, act a little different, that's, that's why. Ooh, another set of notes. Nice. Okay. So once again, another part of the uh, central cavern that we otherwise couldn't get to. I mean, like, it would be nice if I could get up there, because I believe the trouble cleft is up there. That walkway I was just looking up at, like, way high up in the central cavern. Yeah. Somehow you're supposed to get up there, and I'm pretty sure that's where the trouble cleft is. But more importantly, I wanted to hatch this egg, because, well... We're gonna need to be Banjo alone going across there as well. This right here is the way to that stinky cheese wedge. And inside there, as I said before, is a, uh... Jeez, if I can remember what I was talking about, it's, uh... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Kazooie, don't die! You know, I had this splendid idea of, like... You know, here, here's my idea. Let's not die. How about that? Let's just try not to die from now on. What do you think? You guys think that's a good idea? I think I'm gonna stick to that plan from now on. Okay, so anyways, uh, we're gonna go find some more eggs to hatch, basically, as Kazooie alone. Because, you know what, since Kazooie can fly, why don't we just fly around the world and, you know, first of all, get, do like a mini tour of it, but at the same time be on the lookout for eggs that we need to hatch, that have Flotus, or Flotus, Floatiums in them, or whatever they're called. Because those are. Oh, that's the last gold bowl down there, but unfortunately, Kazooie cannot go underwater without Banjo, unfortunately. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Definitely gonna need that gold bowl from Mumbo, though, so we gotta remember that's there, that's for sure. Uh, there wouldn't be anything over there. Would there? No. It's just one of those things that kind of transports you to another part of the, the world, actually. 
I believe down there. This is actually something for Kazooie down here. Yeah. This is the trash can. Well, let's get this uh, honeycomb piece right here. This extra honeycomb. Oh, what the heck? I thought we'd at least land. So you, even after getting hit by that sub, apparently not. So whatever. It's just, uh, yeah. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the last, uh, that's the last extra honeycomb piece in the game. That is, uh, supposedly all 25 of them, I think. I think there's a, I think there's a total of 25 in the entire game. Okay, so, just want to walk around here and get some feathers. Okay, so, um, anyways, before we go inside the garbage can itself, uh, I want to draw attention to this tiny little hole right here. This hole is important because we need to... Shoot a clockwork egg inside of it. What's inside there? Well, we're, well you're about to find out. But you can probably guess, because we need clockwork egg. It is this. It's actually the fourth number you're supposed to press, but yeah. I think you might have an idea what the combination is. Well, if you don't know for sure, we're going to find out pretty soon. But let's just say it's a number we've seen before in this game. Okay, now let's get inside the trash can for real this time, actually. Because Kazooie is nothing but trash. No, I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. Kazooie is anything but trash. Kazooie's awesome. Kazooie's the lord and savior of Jiggies and essentially all of Isle Hags. Okay, so here we are inside the trash can. Um, uh, pretty sure that's Minjo. Yep, ha, I thought so. Well, at least that Minjo healed us, so if anything, he actually helped us out. But actually, more importantly, there is actually, I'm pretty sure there's a Jinjo in here. Like, an actual Jinjo. It's like, supposedly a soda can or something in here. Or pop, or, no, not a soda can, but a soda bottle. Ooh, actually, I think it's right up there. Is he up there? It's him? Let's see. Ah, oh, so close. I think, actually, I need to strike getting on top of this thing. Oh, jeez, that's, uh... I'm sure we can stay on this, can't we? Yeah, we can. I know we can. I knows we can. Here we go. And that completes the Purple Jinjo family, and that earns us another Jiggy. There are now only two Jiggies, or two Jinjos left in the entire game. Okay, let's see what this guy's going on. Let's go, let's go. A vi visitor, a couple of this trash can. I'm not surprised. It stinks. It's fun to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm facing an eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? No. You already know it's coming up at this point. Help me by killing 50 points worth of germs. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's get our grenade eggs. Or, no, 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 not grenade eggs. Fire eggs, that's fine. Fire eggs will suffice. Sure, we're probably gonna run out of them since I chose to stick to regular Kazooie instead of, uh. Um. Yeah, instead of Dragon Kazooie with the infinite fire eggs, but we'll, we'll live without it. Okay, uh. Now. Oh. For some reason, I thought the. The, the A count was uh, the amount of points I had, and the the Kazooie head was like some health bar or something. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, well, either way, I think we might have this, or maybe not. I think I stood in the wrong place, to be honest, but I don't know, maybe I still got it. Yeah, I think I got it. Kind of worried, too, for a minute there. Oh, well, I'm out of fire eggs now. Time to oh oh look at that I got some with the clock grenades that's hilarious. Completed the point. I got to keep my lovely trash can, and you get to keep this. It's another jiggy. What? Why did it? Okay, why did the camera pan to the opposite side? Why did the camera pan to the left where the jiggy was going right? That's just that's highly illogical. Hell no, man. This is disgusting in here. Tell all your friends they're welcome to visit. Okay, so I guess while I'm in here, I should probably point out a little Easter egg that's located somewhere in here. I believe it's actually up here. What the heck? Really? 
really? Somebody literally shipped out sour milk and they, they, they what? Huh? There's literally a company that manufactures sour milk on purpose and sells it. Okay, whatever. But more importantly, on the side of the sour milk uh, carton is... Tootie. Missing. Last seen in Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, the game is self-aware that Tootie has gone missing for no reason. Like, has not shown up at all in this game for no reason. I just find that kind of... Kind of interesting. Like, where is Tootie? Like, why is she suddenly disappeared? Was she just a... Did she exist just to be a plot device in Banjo-Kazooie? You know, I hate to think of it that way, because I love Banjo-Kazooie. I still love Banjo-Kazooie as much, if not more, than this game, but... But... Hear me out on this, really? Tootie just going missing it for no reason in Banjo-Kazooie? I feel like she could have had some use in this game. I really feel, feel like she could have. But no, of course not. Okay, so... Anyways, uh, let's see. Well, well, actually, no, I, I was still, I'm still gonna stick to what I had planned originally, and that is to fly around and look for, look for eggs to hatch, so I'm still gonna do that. So let's stay in the air, and, uh, continue with what we're doing here. Kazooie, you are to fly ahead and find all the eggs you can that, you, that need to be hatched, because we don't want to run into that with Banjo and then not be able to do anything. Um... This is actually the location of the third and final uh, uh, competition with it with Mr. Fitz. So keep this in mind for later. And you know, as as I mentioned before, it's also the location of these of the Soul Mumpo Pad here. Let's see what is down here. I know this is important for something. Oh yeah, we need we do need Kazooie to do something down here, but I don't know if you can do it with Kazooie's Soul Kazooie alone actually. So. But one, yeah, no, you can't because Kazooie can't go underwater. Yeah, that's right. I always forget that. However, uh, more importantly, back here is the true final extra honeycomb piece. So, if I'm not mistaken, this makes 24 total, and this truly is the last of the extra honeycomb pieces. So, in total, let's see. Uh, so we now have all, if I can show it, yeah, all 25 extra honeycomb pieces in the entire game. So we can now get the final health extension to 10, maxing our health out of 10 with Banjo and Kazooie together. So that's pretty awesome. And we also know where the final Globo of the game, the 17th and final Globo. Uh, let's see. Because Mega Global counts as just a regular Globo on the total, so, yeah. Also, we have 80 Jiggies, so you know that means we have 10 left in the entire game, so... There's that, too, to point out. Okay, now... Shoot, well... I'm just gonna hope for now that I have all the eggs hatched that I need to hatch, so... My next sort of business is... Well, I still want to fly, though, because I want to see how to get up to... Sorry about that. To the top of this room still. So let me get to the top of this room. So, the logical thing to do would be just to fly up to where I think that is. So, we're gonna go down to the red door here. I believe that's where that red mumble skull is. We still haven't latched. Uh, also keep in mind, we still haven't had, we still haven't, uh, uh, late that second seed yet, so we still need to do that before we can use, uh, you know, use uh, Mumbo to do his thing for this world. Jeez, which I knew what I was talking about. But anyways, this is actually to that the part. This is actually where you go to get to that that top, you know, walkway at the top of the central cavern. So here we are at the top of the central cavern. Okay. And we have ourselves, just as I expected, the treble cleft. But we also have, unfortunately, Zubba too, to make your life difficult. So, we're going to alleviate this situation by decimating him with a grenade egg. Yeah! Alright. As far as I know, he can't really fly inside the central cavern because there's no flight pads in here. 
There it is, the last trouble class of the game. And we only have 10 notes left, and five of them are right there, actually. So that just leaves the question, where is the last of the notes? Well, one thing's for sure, actually, there appears to be a clockwork sized, yeah, clockwork egg sized hole right there. So let's see if there's anything special out there for clockwork egg alone. Please tell me it's the last combination number. It probably is, actually. Let's see. Show sure enough, there it is. There it is, eight. So if you couldn't guess it right now, the combination is 1984, the year Saber Wolf was released. Oh yeah, 1984, I should remember that. It's a real rare date. <laughs> oh man, rare, you never fail to disappoint with your awesome references. Self-references, might add. Okay, so we're still one set of notes miss or short here, yeah. Well, Kazooie, let's take a dive then. Oh man, okay. So let's uh, let's go get that Jiggy first of all that Super Stash was hiding from us. Well, he wasn't hiding from us. He would have given it to us if he had known his own combination. But how can you forget your own combination when it's a rare date? I mean, seriously. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'm looking for Silicon for Super Stash. Where is he? Where the heck is Super Stash, man? Where are you? Oh, my God. You're never ready for those guys to pop out of the ground. It's so annoying. That's what makes it so annoying. You're just no, you're just never ready for them to pop out of the ground like that. They're always, and they're all over the place. Like, what the hell, man? I mean, like, it's no big deal if I die. I just, I'm just going to warp to, like, a few feet away to banjo. Oh, there it is right there. I was half expecting one to pop up in front of me before I got to Super Stash. That would be real set of bad luck there. Okay. Oh boy. These guys are really dangerous after all. Oh boy. Jeez. Okay then. Well, alright. So we've accomplished plenty in this episode. So we're going to end things off here. So next time on Banjo 2, we are hopefully going to get the last of the notes in the entire game. And overall, just get some more jiggies. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.